right, reviewing just a little bit about the blood vessels in the blood. Um, we've got arteries that go to arterioles to get smaller, connect to the capillaries, where the um, oxygen and nutrients are exchanged with the um, tissues or the um, alveoli, and then we get um, carbon dioxide and metabolic wastes exchanged as well. Plasma is 90% water and the blood is made up of that plus the um, solid elements, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets or erythrocytes, leukocytes, and thrombocytes. Um, plasma ends up to be about 55% of the whole blood volume. Erythrocytes are 45% and then the other about 1% um, or so, just a little bit less are the leukocytes and the thrombocytes, or the leukocytes and the platelets. They're less than 1% of the whole blood volume. All right, so that's a little bit of review. Let's talk about some of the diseases of the circulatory system or the um, cardiovascular system. The first one is anemia, and this can be from any number of sources, but it's an inadequate number of erythrocytes or hemoglobin. So there isn't enough red blood cells um, and remember, um, the hemoglobin, the red blood cells, carry the oxygen um, to the body. They also carry iron. Um, so it could be from acute blood loss. Um, you've lost a lot of blood, so there aren't enough um, red blood cells. Um, iron deficiency anemia um, causes caused by not enough iron to form hemoglobin in the erythrocytes. Um, so for that, um, for the first one, acute blood loss, you would just get a transfusion. For iron deficiency anemia, um, iron supplements and increased iron intake. Another is aplastic anemia, and that's from the result of injury or destruction of the bone marrow. So there, it isn't forming erythrocytes the way it should. It might be from chemotherapy, radiation, viruses, anything like that. And the treatment for that is eliminate the cause and get blood transfusions or a bone marrow transplant. Unless you can reverse aplastic anemia, you um, will probably um, die from it. So that is something quite serious. Pernicious anemia is caused by a lack of something called intri intrinsic factor. And the intrinsic factor um, helps you absorb B12. Um, and you need B12 and folic acid, vitamin B12 and folic acid, in order to develop mature erythrocytes or red blood cells. Um, so what happens is you either have inadequate or abnormally large erythrocytes treatment for this is replace the intrinsic factor and um, give B12 injections. There's also sickle cell anemia. It's um, chronic and inherited. Um, occurs almost exclusively in um, blacks, um, African American, and um, it results in the erythrocytes not looking um, the disc shape that they normally are, but they end up to be um, crescent shaped and it makes them carry less oxygen, they break easily, and they block the blood vessels. Um, so when the person's having a crisis, then the blood vessels are blocked, not enough oxygen is getting through, and it's quite painful. So um, transfusions of packed cells and supportive therapy to help ease the pain when they're having a crisis is um, something that you would do. Um, and in the future, there's research towards bone marrow transplants or stem cell transplants or um, even gene cell therapy that might offer a cure in the future. And um, if you have people in your family who have sickle cell, then they ought to undergo genetic counseling um, to see if they're a carrier so they can make um, informed decisions about whether or not they want to have children. Um, another disease or abnormal condition is an aneurysm. That's the cell of the, I mean the side of the wall of the blood vessel is weak and it balloons out or forms a sac on the wall of the artery. Um, and it's dangerous because it could um, weaken and then rupture and then you would um, have a lot of pain and bleeding, especially if the hemorrhage is in the brain or the abdomen. Um, that hemorrhage might cause death. Um, treatment is um, to remove the damaged um, area and replace it with a graft or another blood vessel. The next one is arteriosclerosis. Sclerosis refers to um, thickening, stiffening or hardening of, a, of something. In this case, it's hardening of artery walls. Um, it could be from age, 
um, it gets less elastic and doesn't contract as well um, and um, it can cause hypertension and lead to aneurysms or hemorrhages. So the main focus if you have arteriosclerosis is to lower the blood pressure through either diet or medications. There's also atherosclerosis and atherosclerosis um, deposits plaques and, and cholesterol fatty deposits on the walls of the artery and it causes the arteries to get more narrow which reduces or eliminates the blood flow and if those plaques get break loose then they can circulate in the bloodstream as emboli or clots. Um, so a treatment for this is medications to lower cholesterol, um, stop smoking, reduce your stress, exercise, um, and they will often do surgeries to open those arteries. Um, there's several types and if you look at your um, your Transparency Master um, 65, there's a picture of several of those um, surgeries. You see in the first one, um, the conventional balloon angioplasty, where they put a guide wire in, and then the balloon comes in, and then they blow up the balloon and inflate it, and it stretches and um, cracks the plaque, and then they withdraw the balloon, and the blood flow is better. There's also um, coronary atherectomy, ectomy means removal of, so what they do is thread something in there and then that device that's threaded in is inflated so that some of it gets squeezed into the device and it rotates a cutting blade and pieces of the plaque are shaved off and contained in the device and then withdrawn out, so it's kind of removing some of that. Um, and then coronary stent, um, they actually put a device in there and leave it in place. Um, so it's inflated, um, they remove the balloon, and the stent is left in place to keep the vessel open so it doesn't close up again. And then the last type of um, surgery is bypass surgery where they actually cut out the walls of the arteries that are um, blocked by flatty, fatty plaques and use another blood vessel and um, sew it in there in its place to um, replace it and allow an opening. All right, the next um, disease we're going to talk about is um, CHF, or congestive heart failure. And this is where the muscles of the heart don't beat adequately enough to supply the blood needs of the body. It could be on the right or the left side of the heart, and you're going to have, you'll notice, um, difficulty breathing, edema. Um, they look pale or bluish because there's not enough blood flow and so not enough oxygen. The neck veins might get distended because it's working so hard. Pulse is weak and rapid. Um, and they're going to treat that with um, cardiotonic drugs or drugs to slow and strengthen the heartbeat or um, diuretics, which remove fluid. Or they might put elastic support hose on to help with the circulation or give them oxygen um, and have encourage them to rest more. An embolus is... Um, uh, anything foreign that circulates in the blood s stream. It could be air, um, if something, um, air gets into the, blood, the circulatory system, or blood clots, or part of that fatty plaque, or um, um, fat globules, um, clumps of bacteria, anything like that. And if it gets into an artery or capillary that's too small for it to go through, then it blocks the vessel off, and whatever it was being um, whatever tissue was being fed by that um, blood vessel doesn't get oxygen. Um, so the treatment is medication to dissolve the clot or surgery to remove it. The next one is hemophilia. Um, it's an inherited disease. It occurs mostly in males, but it is carried by females. And it causes the blood to not be able to clot because there is no plasma protein. So a minor cut could lead to prolonged bleeding, and a minor bump can cause internal bleeding. Um, the treatment for that is transfusions of whole blood that are plasma, and then administering that missing protein factor. They'll inject it in. Next one is hypertension, which is basically high blood pressure. They consider that anything over 140, over 90. Um, and there's risk factors for that. Um, it could be family history, um, your race. Um, it's actually a, hi a higher risk in, in African Americans. Um, obesity, you're overweight, stress, smoking, um, aging, 
it's higher in uh, women that have gone through menopause or um, risk factors also a diet high in, in saturated fat some of those you can change and some of it you can't you can't change your family history you can't change your ra race um, you can't change your age um, those are things that you cannot change but you can change your weight you can change your stress you can stop smoking and you can change your diet all of those things and how much you exercise so there are some things in um, cardiovascular disease risk that you can change um, um, there is treatment for hypertension but it doesn't cure it what you need to do is change some of those risk factors but you can take antihypertensive medications and diuretics to remove some of the excess fluid um, decrease your stress avoid tobacco and change your diet leukemia is actually cancer of the bone marrow or lymph tissue um, and it results in a large number of white blood cells that are immature they don't work well um, so you'll get sick quicker that type of thing um, there's some acute leukemia some are chronic but you're gonna have fever um, be pale pallor um, the lymph tissues will swell you'll be fatigued you have anemia um, might bruise easily or have bleeding glum, gums or joint pain and the treatment depends on the type of leukemia but can include chemotherapy radiation or bone marrow transplants and then myocardial infarction or MI um, is basically the term for a heart attack and what it is is your heart isn't attacking you um, the heart feels like it's being attacked because it's very painful because um, there's a blockage in a coronary artery and it cuts off the supply of blood to the heart and the heart tissue starts to die the affected heart tissue that does die is known as an infarct myocardial infarction at first part infarct is what we call or ischemia when the heart tissue dies and if it's a large area that's affected of your heart then you could die from this and some of the symptoms are um, crushing pain in the chest sometimes it radiates to your arm or neck or jaw and um, feels like an elephant like pressure on your chest you might have um, cool clammy sweat skin or um, perspiration um, difficulty breathing and changes in your blood pressure if the heart stops completely then the treatment would be CPR cardiopulmonary resuscitation um, if not then immediate treatment would be something that would um, bust up the clot um, TPA um, is a thrombolytic that'll do that um, it's called tissue plasminogen activator that's a medication and it restores blood flow to the heart and as long as you use it in the first several hours um, it'll work real well if there's bleeding present you don't want to give it because it'll make you bleed more um, but it does um, increase the blood flow to the heart um, so that's why they say time is important with this um, and they'll encourage bed rest and medications and then long term encourage um, control of the blood pressure regular exercise and weight um, control we have two types of phlebitis just regular phlebitis is inflammation of the veins usually in the leg or thrombophlebitis when a clot forms as well of, as inflammation um, so if that thrombus forms that's thrombophlebitis you can have pain, redness, discoloration of the site, edema. Um, and treatment would be elevate the area, wear support hose, um, take anticoagulants to dissolve the clots, and if needed, surgery to remove it. Also, varicose veins, um, those are d dilated, swollen veins that aren't elastic anymore, um, usually in the leg, and then the blood supply um, slows down. It could be from pregnancy or prolonged sitting or standing, or just because uh, heredity says you're you're tending to it um, so treatment would be support hose um, surgery to remove the veins they actually put um, go in there and strip the vein out to remove it in severe cases